Hello everyone, Sorry here and today we are going to venture on reddit again to look for some spicy decks people have made and I found this Riven Gwen deck by One Trick Raven so One Trick Raven played 500 games on this deck and they've managed to hit masters with it 400 LP so it's been successful for them uh, this is a combo oriented deck and they have written a whole guide about it on reddit i'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out so what is riven gwen riven gwen is a combo deck that uses both champions as win condition riven and gwen riven gives you access to the blades which gives you plus two damage over one quick attack and quick attack can be valuable on units like eternal dancers or on your blade squire to keep them alive for later right and you're kind of working on leveling up Riven. Once you level it up, you're going to get your Blade of the Exile. The Blade of the Exile will give you Overwhelm on the Riven and additional stats. So you get to swing with along with the Hallowed keyword, you're pushing more Overwhelm damage. Gwen attacking along with her, you get to, put, uh, to threaten a lot of damage. Opponent has to block the Gwen, but blocking might not be enough if you give her one of Riven's weapons. The overwhelm weapon then she becomes a wing coin we also have might to give gwen the overwhelm uh missed call to revive our champions most likely or eternal dancers as well and we also have this landmark trifarian training pits now what this does is let's say we swing with a unit with five plus damage and hallowed can do that for us we get to activate rally when we activate rally we get to go swing another time and so imagine we have a riven swinging for let's say eight damage with overwhelm we finish our attack we have rally we go for another swing and we get more hallowed stacks on the riven so we get to push more damage similar on gwen as well so we're putting a lot of uh, pressure on the opponent eternal dance revives our champions usually you want to revive the gwen in most cases uh because of the snipping you get to burn them down uh silking string puller so what this does is usually you want to pull it on the first you want to attack with it first so it gains the hallowed stacks and then it shares all that attack power with your other allies so if you have a riven eternal dancers on the side they get to share those stats becomes uh kind of set up a really wide board uh, of units and buff them up all with this uh what else do we have we have vengeance for removal and one captain pharaoh in case you need that overwhelm damage and decimate wing condition so that's pretty much the idea of the deck we will take it to ladder and maybe we'll donate our all our lp we'll see without further ado here we go all right we're against ash leblanc uh no vengeance keep the rune squire do i want to keep another one not really i'd rather find something else like i need a hallowed unit for the early game right i'll keep the rune squire because it can kill a leblanc basically but hate spike isn't bad as a keep uh omen isn't what we want to kill at all so we just ignore the omen and we can go rune squire here it does make it make leblanc awkward to play i guess uh on turn uh, three right so like i go even here and we'll see what they want to do right if they play leblanc they play any other unit it might mean they have a freeze or an answer for this so we take the pass make them waste a uh, valuable uh, board development hmm. kind of weird <laughs> I don't fully understand why we did that, but sure. Uh, so if they swing, we just ignore it. And I still have zero hallowed, by the way, so that's kind of an issue right now. But on the bright side, yeah, the zero hallowed is making life a bit awkward here. So I could rally this turn, but I don't really need it. So what we're gonna do is do this into quick attack and kind of focus on killing this right now and i could level up i guess like leveling up is an option 
If I put all of them maybe here. I don't feel happy about it right now. Yeah, I don't feel happy. I think I like just swinging here. Yeah, okay. of course the harsh runs. We're happy. Because leveling up, uh, I guess we could still level up and play the hate spike, right? So it wasn't like the end of the world. Uh, yeah, this is fine, I guess. But I guess something I should have done is maybe play the boisterous host. I think that's one thing I should have done. I was just scared of their development. Uh, what were we scared of? Uh, there was the two mana guy that freezes. But no, I think I should have played this regardless immediately. And now we'll just pass. If they swing, I will sack it here. Another ribbon is nice. Uh, play. Uh, Time to play this, then they won't probably swing anymore. Oh, let's see. So I guess what we're scared of is the seven mana kill everything, right? I want the extra hallowed stack. The reckoning, we're scared of reckoning, but I, I do have answers, so it's not like the end of the world. So what we need is level up Riven here, give Overwhelm to Gwen. Overwhelm to Gwen. And now we get the Blade of Exile. Level up Riven in case they do have uh, the thing. So Riven doesn't die here. And if they do have it, now Gwen and this are gonna die, right? Which is fine. Kinda of fine for us if they do that. Alright. Uh, let's do this which gives me access to rally now so we want to swing with this first goes up to four capable of killing here and these here and they might have a harsh winds here right harsh winds is a bit scary but yeah i wanted to give quick attack here but i don't know maybe i'll need this we'll see I'm just waiting for a harsh winds. And the rally is really nice. I could have played Squire, I guess, and pulled. Maybe that was kind of okay. Hmm. Elixir of Iron. Oh, here to help. That's painful. That is painful. Alright, let's save the ribbon. Save the ribbon here. And we deny the Gwen level up at least. And I can still attack another time with the Gwen here. Uh, they used up all their mana. With the ribbon, I mean. They used up all their mana. And this goes up to five enough and they shouldn't block here right yeah so their next attack is a bit scary but it's not lethal like if they don't have a rally guy i'm kind of chilling right this is nice if i want to try and kill here mm. i could do this and force a freeze which i'm down for if i force a freeze uh they can't play the rally guy and that's kind of the goal here just deny the rally. Who runs cars? Uh, well, that's okay. That's alright. Still, we, we kind of did what we wanted, basically. It's even better for us if it's scorched. Because this 5 mana doesn't connect, I guess. Right, let's go for a revive here. No more rally for, uh, for opponent. It's really good for us. We get driven back. Uh, but no exile on her anymore and they can go uh, eternal dancers here just to kind of keep the pressure on opponent i have a gwen as well is gwen better gwen is probably better actually 
Uh, but let me give this plus two in case they have a raccoon in here. And we go this. I guess the scariest thing is another harsh one. They might rally here. Oh, not a rally. Okay, that's fine. Guess we're mostly scared of another freeze. Like, what do you do if he has it? If he has it, he has it, right? Over one here. And we got this again. Uh, I don't technically have to play now. I could play the over one. Uh, in case they have any freezes or something. Alright, we saw double harsh winds already, so the odds of them having another harsh winds are very low. They could have three sisters into freeze, elixir of iron, a strike spell I guess, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, strike spells do exist. But Gwen should be able to end the game here, hopefully. Uh, they might rally. No rally, alright, let's do this. Give her more stats. everything go face uh hopefully this is lethal unfortunately she wasn't leveled so her snipping isn't enough right that's fine let's not do it all right all right all right very close game i think if we didn't end this game here they maybe could have set up a lethal with a rally guy next turn so last turn the turn before this was very important to not allow them to rally and put a lot of pressure and force me to sack my champions uh but yeah gg all right we're against vein aatrox so i'm gonna keep Riven, give the land oh this actually is the premium hand kind of so we'll keep everything actually uh we have a two drop this potentially on our uh it's actually awkward to play right uh we're attacking on even so i guess i could play it on my defense turn but i do have to go Riven before gwen so i can start getting the, the fragments I also want to go Gwen so I can get work on her level up as well. We'll see. I could maybe just not play this, I guess, for the time being and hold on to it. I lose one Hallowed, but at least I can put more pressure, maybe. Oh, it's a. I thought it was Vayne. It's an Avalon. I was so confused, what's happening? Game? But no, it's not. Uh, Aatrox though, so I guess it's running River Zero? No, this doesn't even run River Zero, there's no Bilgewater in there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. And I'm not sure about going one here either. Uh, because he's gonna play something and it's gonna have tough. It's gonna be a bit difficult to kill, right? So how about I go these two instead, next time we go Phantom Butler, and then we decide what to do. I think that's much better. Like let's say they play Evelyn here, she has 6, 7, 8, 8 HP with tough, like none of my units are gonna go through it. Alright, that's fine. Totally okay with that hate spike. So now, we'll see if they have another unit here. I'm gonna go Phantom. Hmm. I'll still kill this, I think. But they're gonna get a unit with quick attack. I'd rather not have to deal with that. Uh, do I have like a quick attack here? No. This is dead regardless of what we do. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have actually buffed it with the Hallow. Uh, I forgot it's enough. Do they have anything that can buff it up? I guess uh, the plus 2 which No, that can't even be run here. No, I, sh I shouldn't have buffed. Never mind. We could have dropped them down to 9 HP here. It's okay, just pass. Right now we're either ignoring this or blocking it with the Phantom. Which both work. 
if they do develop we can play this and we can block with it as well so that would be a bit nice right if we can block with an ephemeral unit or at least threaten it we don't really have to block all right go go with this so we can put a blocker and next time we're leveling up Riven by the way that's fine so we just pass here they have an Aatrox now but Aatrox doesn't really achieve much I'll block here and ignore this for now alright so we want to go Riven put the pressure here on the opponent I will see what they want to play because this Gwen and Riven are a big problem if they play an Aatrox that would probably be too super bad for them yeah so let's put Ovoam here difficult attack here plus 2 here Now we get the Riven Blade. There is surrender and there is life. I will now we play the Riven Blade on Riven. We get a lot of stats and overwhelm on her. And right now they only have two blockers, right? This can't even block. So. The time for talk is over. And now we go for the swing and pull these on the end because they need to block with Aatrox on one of these right first oh you can actually kill that one but still not enough to survive yeah it's not enough all right GG's the GG's we had a really good hand we had our two drop our landmark into a Riven into a Gwen and they just couldn't keep up at all the jizz, the jizz. all right so we're up against the popular vigor nasus i won't keep this i won't keep this phantom butler is a keep and the landmark is a keep and now we just we need our uh, champions basically to set up uh, a win condition right so here we just pass we're gonna go phantom butler here which might uh force riven is nice so this might force uh quietus out of opponent right if they have it if not, we can still swing with this. Push 3 damage. We're very happy with that. Alright. So, we have one problem when we play our champions. Is that Soul Harvest will crush us, right? We can't buff our units uh, with anything in our hand right now. We have the the one mana Telstone that gives us plus 3 damage. But it is very expensive. I think I'm gonna not block this. And we're gonna go for the landmark. Start getting those hallowed stacks and we'll see what the point wants to do. But regardless, I still want, need to play the Riven immediately so we can get uh, the Blades add. We need to work on her level up, right? Hmm, yeah, we're going. So, uh, the thing is, if I do play Riven now and they Soul Harvest, at least they can't play Vault of Helia anymore. So, uh, I guess it's kind of not the end of the world if they kill her here we also got uh, uh the pit so we can start maybe activating rallies and stuff we'll see mm. i can't really swing with this i don't want her dead i can swing like this and maybe they block here i guess it's kind of fine oh uh, i mean i can i can give her a quick attack i guess i'm not fully against it I'll do this. Back like this. Right. Yep. This will probably block here. Oh, okay. Ah, I guess, yeah, makes sense. I, I forgot I'm attacking with Riven now. Yeah, so this makes sense. Uh, the problem right now is this darkness. It's gonna get up to 4 very easily. And then we can't... Uh, we can't do much about it. I'm kind of tempted to just vengeance this Vagar. Oh, I'm very tempted to just vengeance him. 
I think I, j I truly want to play this landmark here and we'll see you next time what the point wants to do. Solo Harvest. Unfortunate, kind of not the best for us, but it is what it is. If they do, do play Voltophilia here, it will kill this. I'll ignore for now. I'm trying to see if they want to play the... No. Okay. No, we, we we don't want to deal with this darkness. Ah, man, they're still holding on to it. Mm, I could go Gwen and play this if they try to kill her with this. I guess. Yeah, I don't mind it. I'm down for it. Uh, they play darkness here. We jam this, I guess. The only problem is we're not really killing Vagar anytime soon, right? Uh, it is what it is. Alright, so we do this. We keep it alive at 1 HP, but she could die to Vengeance, Hate Spike. Those two cards can kill her here. Hate Spike, maybe? Also, I'm activating Rally this turn. Unless they kill this, I'm activating Rally, but I'm not really getting too, too much out of it at all. Vengeance, okay. So, I, do I have lethal? I might have lethal here. Uh, I have lethal here. Okay, so... Just give your uh, units away, your champions away, and your fearsome unit with the Trifarian training pits will carry the game for you. GG's, GG's. Alright, we're against Vaynatrox, popular deck. Uh, I'm gonna keep a Gwen and I'm gonna keep, keep Opulent uh, Figure because it's kind of a value card. We don't want Captain Farron early on. Noxie and Telstone. Is it too bad? It's it's good because it lets me kill something like a Valor with a Darken Harp on it, trying to kill my Gwen. It kind of saves her, right? Uh, Hate Spike also can save it, but I do need a unit to do that. And right now, we don't have an early game. Uh, we're just hoping opponent doesn't have a very aggressive play. Like if they play a Vayne next turn, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble if they have a vein next to See what we do. Yeah, we're not getting what we want. So I have to play the landmark here. But I don't, I don't have any other place. I don't want to pass turn 3 by doing nothing. I'm fine with swinging here. We'll see if they want to swing. Maybe I should have played the hate spike. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I could have played the hate spike. There was no reason to play it. I guess catch would kind of be annoying. But regardless, I think we should have just jammed that hate spike. Let's we'll see what they want to do here. They might want to equip this with a weapon, right? Open attack. So, I think I know what they want to do. I'm not very happy about it, but I think I know what they want to do. So what they want to do is play... Uh, they want to play Valor here into a tumble. So I'm gonna have to hate spike and shut it down. Oh no, never mind. This was a very weird open attack. Like I I gave him my Revan because I didn't want to give him Gwen, right? I was fine with hate spiking Revan, I just didn't want to hate spike this one. But apparently not. Maybe it's uh They did have Valor. Why didn't we tumble though? Did they not have enough mana? No, they did. Like, it would have been a really powerful stack here. If it went through. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm assuming they want to tumble. How much mana do we have? One. Hmm. Maybe they don't know the tumble interaction. Maybe, they should. Maybe they're Maybe they new to Vaynatrox and they're testing it out still. No more hesitation. Fish fight. Mm, so I could do this, keep it alive, right? And we also work on her level up. They'll need a form up. And even if they play form up, 
the badger bear at least is dying here i'm very happy with this the only problem is that they can still tumble us here right if they play form up they can't tumble anymore but they can still tumble us here okay so we can swing with this here swing with this and that's kind of it level up the gwen a good swing with the riven as well but i don't want to uh threaten get riven killed I, I, win, I want to keep another wink one in case this one dies. And oh, that's a lot of damage, by the way. Yeah, I, mean, I guess they have to take it. Like, they don't really have. Uh, they don't really have much of an option, I guess. But, yeah, down to six. I still also have a uh, Levite, uh, Pharaoh. I keep calling him Levite. I still have a Pharaoh. But Aatrox can heal them up, right? Like, Aatrox can drop next turn. Gwen might die. But at least we can revive her with the Eternal Dancer, so it's not kind of the end of the world. There is the Tumble. So what we're gonna do is sack this Gwen. In, I mean, I'm not sacking, I'm, I'm trading. So I don't damage this Riven. And now when, uh, this will die here regardless of what we do, right? So let them kill, and Riven can threaten to block this vein, so they won't attack with the vein. So this is kind of the perfect scenario here. And we'll see what they do next turn. I guess we might see an Aatrox next turn. Uh, they haven't thrown him from weapons. They haven't played a single weapon, I think. Yeah, they haven't played a single weapon. So their hand is not weapons. So there is... Oh... I mean, that's fine, I guess. We can actually revive uh, a, di a dead Gwen from uh, from the Ephemeral Eternal Dancers. The bear. The bear. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna play it. I want to play her. So I can set it up for next turn. It's very difficult for him to kill her. You need a weapon. And it, that weapon has to be 2 damage. Like a dark and harp. It's only dark and harp I guess. And they also need another fish fight. A second one. Which they could have. They could have another fish fight. They might be trying to kill here as well. Uh, I guess the Dark and Harp here now would be painful. Because they can pick off this Riven for free. Leveling up Vayne. Every last monster Are we fish first. fighting this... Uh... I think we're fish fighting this Eternal Dancers. Or we want to attack with both of these units. And push 8 damage. Like we can open attack I guess. Yeah I can't really block. So I have to just press ok. Can't block here. And I guess if they have a fish fight. They have to jam it now. And there is a good chance they have a fish fight. Since they don't have any weapons in their hand. Or a single combat I guess also. A vein spell. Unfortunate. Uh... But that's fine, that's okay. We're, go we're gaining more uh, Hallowed stacks. And we are... Uh... No, okay, that's not fine. That's cheating. Hmm. That's fine, that's cheating. Another Riven. I'm down for another ribbon here. Do I have enough stacks to, though to level it up? I've kind of forgot. <laughs> I forgot if I played any blades. I don't think so. Yeah, I never really played blades, so she's actually not leveled. Hmm. Let me think. Three, five, plus four, nine, nine damage. This has four health, so now we're only pushing five, and then I play hate spike to push extra damage and win the game. Yeah. They might tumble me here. Uh, I can drop to one HP, that's fine. I'm more scared of them having an Aatrox here. Then life is very difficult if they have an Aatrox. That's fine. 
I need to allow it to hit. And I need to swing. And we'll see what they do. So as long as there is no single combat or a third vein spell, I could win here. Pain. So we kind of got information that they have an answer, right? The only fast speed spell they have is a single combat or, or vein spell, that's all. So we got the confirmation that they have an answer. So... I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to play this old one anymore because I know they're gonna answer it. I guess press OK. I guess we go Riven here for like blocking purposes. Uh, they could do strike here. Yeah, they could strike. I can't do much about it. I can't even kill it like this. So I'm gonna do this for only one reason. Is that I could top deck a hate spike. That's the only reason we're doing this. So this is also... Uh, I just can't block with this, that's kind of the problem. GG, GG. Uh, yeah, it, it's very difficult sometimes if they have the answer. Like you want the deck, you want to play against the deck that simply doesn't have uh, interactivity, right? Like opponent didn't have that good of a hand. We didn't have weapons at all, and we had nice hand, I think, but we still struggled a lot to to beat it. Uh, but yeah, like uh, playing against decks that don't have a, a way to shut down your riven, you, you, you win, you, you beat them. They can't do much. But once they have that one answer, you're kind of doomed because you're setting up one powerful attack, and then you're uh, you're very vulnerable on your defense turn, basically. Uh, but yeah, GG is uh, it's a fun deck interesting deck uh hopefully you enjoyed the video i will see you in the next one take care and goodbye